When I first decided to start creating courses for my business, I did a lot of searching around. There's a lot of different course platforms out there and I spent a lot of time looking at different ones, trying to work out what would work best for me. Now also because I was just getting started and I wasn't sure how it would go, I also didn't want to be spending a lot of money either. So any that were a little bit higher priced, I was sort of instantly just putting aside for now because I just wanted something where it would help me get started. So initially I started out with Teachable. I think they had a free plan or a very low cost plan at the start that I was able to just get started with so I could build something, get a few students and get going. And eventually things grew to a point where I had to start paying them. So this was a good way for me to just get something out there, test it out, and then start paying once I felt like things started to go well. However, as things began to grow, I started to also realize that I wanted to be able to do a bit more with my courses. And so I started looking around again at different platforms to try and find a platform that would allow a bit more customization. As a designer and as someone that likes to make things creative and create a beautiful experience for my customers, it just felt like Teachable wasn't quite enough for me. Now, I know it works great for some people, but for me, it just wasn't quite enough. And so I was searching around, looking at different platforms, and there's a platform that I fell in love with, and that is Teachery. I came across them through somebody else that I was following. They were using Teachery. I ended up getting one of their courses, and I just thought it was so beautiful, the way you could customize it more, and it felt more designed than a lot of other platforms. So once I felt ready, I made the switch and moved my courses to Teachery, and it was so much fun. I felt like I could design really beautiful courses and do so much more with it, and and I loved it. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you how I use Teachery. So as I said before, I started out using Teachery for my courses. So my first original course was Define Your Brand Style and I started out by building that course on Teachery. Then I started bringing out some smaller courses including Design Better Graphics and Growth Graphics. And as things grew more, I also was starting to eye off the lifetime plan of Teachery. Now, the cool thing with Teachery is it's built by just a couple. It's not some huge big business. And this couple, Jason and Caroline Zook, also have a coaching program. But with this coaching program, you also get lifetime access to Teachery. So I began to eye that off because I thought, wow, I could get help and support in my business and also have lifetime access to this amazing platform. So eventually I ended up joining because I knew that was what I needed. I needed support and community and people that I felt aligned with my way of doing business and also this lifetime access to Teachery. So I'm not having to think, oh, yet another subscription to worry about. And also the fact that I know that if my business ever change or pivots and I know that I just can't keep paying for that software, it's always going to be there. So it means that I don't ever have to close it down for students or anything like that. Because as somebody who buys courses as well, that's something that sometimes bothers me is I'll have bought a course and years down the track, I think, oh, I'll just go look at that again because there might be some interesting information in there I need for something I'm working on right now and discover that they've changed their business or even shut down completely and the course is gone. Because obviously they don't wanna maintain paying for that platform when they're no longer doing that in their business. So what I love about Teachery is when I buy a course from someone that's used Teachery and they have that lifetime access, that course isn't just gonna go away. If they decide to change things up, if they decide to shut down their business or they decide to do something that's unrelated to courses, they don't have to take it away from their students because they can leave it running and the people already enrolled will still continue to have access without it costing them anything. And that was something that was important to me too, to know that no matter what happens in my life, in my business, the students that paid for that course will always have access and it's not relying on me to always be paying for that platform. So now let's look at the more fun design side of Teachery in terms of what do I actually create on there and how I make it look. Now, if you're thinking, oh, I'm not really a designer, this sounds like it's more geared to designers but you don't have to be a designer to use this there's actually a whole heap of really cool themes that you can get with Teachery so you can just plug and play basically you can still create a really beautiful course without needing to be a designer obviously if you are good at design and creating you just have it so open-ended in terms of what you can do but don't fret if that's not you and you still want a beautiful course because it comes with lots of beautiful themes and there's also people that sell or offer customized themes so that you can get a beautiful course even if you're not a designer. So I'm going to take you behind the scenes to show you just how I use it and the things that I've created. So first of all we have a course. So this is a course I have built and as you can see here I've had a lot of fun to it by having these moving images. So they're just gifts that I've put in and any click on one it will take you to a lesson. 
So this is how I've designed the layout of this lesson. As you can see, it's been really fun just being able to design all these little elements to it and really make it look beautiful and add up so much detail. And that's what you can do with Teach Tree is just make something look really cool and fun. And it doesn't have to be plain and boring like a lot of course platforms are. Then we have this, the Canva Lovers Club. This is something that I give for free when people um, buy one of my digital products, they're able to come to this for free. So this is something that you can use for any of your customers or clients. You can give them something free that they can access in, you have it in Tea Tree. So this is where you can give them extra bonuses or extra tips and help with using your product, things like that. So they feel like they're getting something a little extra and it's kind of exciting because they get to log in and there's this fun little place they can come to. And then it's also opportunity to share some more things with them. So I've got a bit about myself so people can get to know who I am. I've also added in links to my other courses and other products, things like that. So it's a way just to help your customers get to know you better and also a way to get emails. So if you're selling things on places like Etsy or other platforms that you're not able to collect the email addresses, by offering something like this where they then have to put in their email to get it, they feel like they're getting something extra, but you're also getting their email address, which can be very handy for you because then you're able to keep selling things to them through email. So this one was quite a fun one to create as well. Next up, I have an advent calendar. So this is a freebie I created one year for Christmas, which as you can see is really, really fun. Look at the detail that you can start to add to something in Teachery. So this is by creating beautiful custom background, having a lovely header, and even coding in this snow falling. So that you can each day, I also set it on Teach Tree so that each of these modules, basically each of these lessons would open up each day so that each day they'd get a new one to open in the countdown to Christmas. So they'd be able to click on the one of the day and they would have a freebie. So you'd have the day, they'd be able to click here to get their template and then I'd also add details about how they could use it and a tutorial. And then of course to help also build my business, just linking to other things. So linking to my shop, linking to some affiliate links and other courses, things like that. So it all is ways to build your business. You can create free things, make them really beautiful, fun and interactive and enjoyable for people, but then also link out to other things to help you sell stuff. Then we have my digital goodie bag, which is another freebie, which is an ongoing one. And so this one, I made each of these, um, images for each lesson as such look like a little goodie bag so basically they sign in to get the goodie bag they see all these little bags it's really fun and then you click on one and you get to that page where it's got that freebie so um, I'll have the link to the freebie there some of them have videos then I also on the side have things to go further with me so obviously this is a free thing so then on the side here I've got you know where you can get extra templates a workshop which leads to a bigger course, things like that. So again, you can utilize these to make really fun free things that people are excited to get because they're fun, interactive, and look really valuable. But it's a way to then upgrade people. So I've also got here things like a shop coupon. So that people think, oh, I'm getting a discount, but it encourages people to then go and buy things. Now this is an example of using it for a digital product rather than a course. So this one, I didn't put as much time into designing, but I just wanted to show you to give you an idea of what else you can do. So this one is for an ebook. So I made an interactive ebook. So instead of just selling the file to the ebook, I've got it where they've actually can come and log in. They can come and download the ebook. Then there's also some extra video tutorials and extra free templates. So just giving some extra freebies away. So it feels, you know, a bit more valuable. So you come and log in and you get those extras on top of the actual ebook. Then I've got a walkthrough video here too. So that's a way of um, helping to instruct people on how to use what you've given them too. So you're not just sending them something, but they've got a portal as such to go to where they can find out how do you use this? How does it work? All that sort of thing. And again, it links to other products and things like that. So it's all a way of creating this network that somebody buys something or they grab a freebie and then they learn other things that you offer and sell as well. So then here I've got a short course, Growth Graphics. So this one I created before I sort of really learned about some of the customizations I can do. So this one was a bit of a simpler one. 
Then I've got here Design Better Graphics, which is another short course. And here I added things like, so you can add GIFs as images, which is really fun because then you can add these little animated elements, which can really add to something and make it fun. So then I've just got the images here for each section. So then they can go into the lessons. And so you've got the lesson video, the download link to get the workbook. And then on the side here, I've got some more details about the lesson. You can also add in extra things like maybe resources and things like that. And also an upgrade invitation. So this course is just a small short course. So then I'm offering an upgrade to go on to the bigger course as well. So often too, when you create these smaller products, you can then really encourage people to the bigger products throughout too. And finally, this one's just an older course. So this was the, actually the very first course I created using Teachery. So as you can see, I kept it fairly simple because I was just learning, just getting to know Teachery. And also Teachery has advanced more in that time too, that you can do a lot more with it now. So as you can see, I had a little bit of fun creating a really nice banner and that, but as you can see from the more recent things, I've learnt more and more ways you can make it really fun and beautiful and really customize it. So there's lots of things you can do. You can keep things fairly simple if you want to, or you can really go all out and create a beautiful design. There are so many different options and so many ways that you can use Teacher. As you can see, you don't need to use it just for courses. You can use it for digital products. You can use it as freebies different upgrades. I've also found it helpful if for one off things, like if I do a talk or a summit, and I want to offer some freebies, putting it in tea tree means there's sort of a portal. People have somewhere to go to go get it. And it's not going to get so easily lost because they've got it all in one place. And you can offer extra things in that way. You can offer links to other products you have or extra bonuses. So it feels really valuable, things like that. So it's a really great platform to use. As you can see, Teachery is so much fun. It's so much more than just your average course platform. You can create really cool and fun things with it. And it really opens things up as a digital creator. If you're creating courses or digital products or even offering services, there's ways you can use Teachery to create more of a customer experience so that it's fun for your students, fun for your customers. And I think in a day and age where this is growing, there's more and more people creating digital products. The way to stand out is really creating an experience experience for people so that it's more than just learning something or receiving something but they're really getting to enjoy the whole experience of going through it as well and you can really do that with Teachery. Now as I mentioned before I got lifetime access to Teachery through joining WAME and WAME is opening up for enrollment this month so if you're interested or want to know more just learn about more of what it's about check out my links below in the description it will let you know what the exact dates are that it's open and also the relevant links to head to so that you can learn more about it. So happy creating and I'll see you next time.